All right, y'all, here go a video towing, a little towing tutorial. All right, I get some questions about how do you tow a four by four or something like that on a, on a cell phone, a cell floater or a repo truck. So, in this truck, it's super easy. I, it's easy in this truck. You could use other methods like dollies, stuff like that, but the e uh, easy way like stuff like this where I can go pick it up with no problem is if you just ask them do they have this button in the truck so if you got that two wheel drive 4x4 four four and 4x4 four four low or something like that in the truck and it could be towed with a self loader and you ain't got to do nothing but turn into a two wheel, two wheel drive that uh get the the front axle to roll freely and then you just hook it up from the back i mean you can hook it up from the front but you have to put it in neutral and then go under 50. you still gotta go under 50 like this but just less chance of something going some going wrong and they blame it on a company because this way the rear end is not gonna burn up i ain't gotta worry about the drive shaft spinning while it's in the air just little things like that so that came in handy you know what I'm saying? So if anybody needs tips on that, that's how you tow like a big monster truck, I guess, like somewhat of a baby monster truck with the big tires on there. Well, just say, now I ain't gonna say monster truck. Just say a truck with big tires. So, and I got it on the boom, but you see they sticking out a little bit, but I'm not going that far with this one. This one only going a couple blocks, but I would advise when you towing a car like this, with all the dollies on it, even though the dollies wouldn't fit anyway, that's probably, that was that's one reason why I didn't put the dollies on. And this is just too much weight for the dollies anyway, with the with the truck tires on and all the other stuff. That's probably too much weight for the dollies. But if you can tow it this way, it'll be fine. Did it thousands of times with the repo truck. Just make sure they center on both tires. Make sure one wheel ain't hanging off the other side. They both walk the same amount of inches like that right there on the other side and you just train it up train it up like you regular do and then put the straps on there and then you'll be ready to roll and that is how you use a self loader to get a big truck or another way the quick way another way people ask me how do i tow like bmw benzes things like that i tow them because I use those those wheels right there, those dollies right there, right there. I use those, and then I just uh, put them on the front. Uh, well, in this situation, like if it was a Cadillac or something, I'll put them on the back, just because it's less weight because the motor in the front. So I would put the tow truck in the front, and then put the dollies on the back, just so uh, the weight to be, you know what I'm saying. So I, I don't put that much weight on the dollies, because I you could you could fix stuff on the dollies, but. I don't want to break bend the poles or break the poles because they're kind of expensive to buy them separately, the legs and everything, and that's just I don't want to do that. So you could just hook it up like this and then it'd be ready to roll. This is a Ram, a Hemi. This the not the diesel, just the 4x4 one. Um, I'm running a. I think I'm running. What am I running? I'm running a. I'm running a 550. So it's. 550 compared to this is nothing it's like butter picking this up so but that ain't the point and then another repeat another just a safety tip you can get the straps to go on the thing and hook on the bottom hook to the steering wheel because i got it going the other way but always always strap the steering wheel like that's a must you have to strap the steering wheel you can lock it but even when i lock the steering wheels i still prefer to put the seat belts around it just for safe just to be safe on the you know what i'm saying because i don't want it to unlock or the key I hit a bump and the key go back in the ignition and you know and the wheel unlock and i'm on a freeway you know you just don't want nothing bad to happen just it's just the easy just the even if it locked it's just to reinsure that you ain't got to worry about nothing going wrong so just always do that like if you strap even when you do dollies even when you do the dollies and you put the car like if i was if i was forced to put the car like this i would still put the seat belt around the steering wheel if i was had to put the dollies on the front wheel just in case if something happened i hit a bump uh i hit a hard corner anything and the steering wheel and the car moves i haven't had the problem but i'm sure it'll probably slip off the dollies one wheel will come off 
something catastrophic would probably happen. So just the, that's just a heads up tip. Just don't do that. So, so just always strap the steering wheel. That's a must. And I mean, you could put it in neutral just in case the truck do happen to fall or the gears happen to grind the front, the truck will stay rolling. I just left it in park because I'm hooking it up right now. But yeah, you should probably put it in neutral also just in case if something do go wrong, uh, you just don't add to all the stuff that's about to happen because the truck fall off the bed and it's still rolling the most it can do with the change is go forward and pull back into the tow truck and then by that time you know you stop it didn't smack the tow truck and but that's just only your property now if you don't do that and then the car just whole happen to drag and you're not quick enough to pull over or just say hey you're on a freeway or something and that happened it would instantly just come off and roll and ro it would stop it would pop off and then stop rolling and then it would start, you know, it, the brakes and everything would lock up because obviously it's on the ground now. And then that would be bad because the chains are going to snap because I'm sure they, you know, they, they got a capacity. But if you're doing 60, 70 on the freeway and it's an anchor falling off, I'm sure the chains going to fall and snap. So then it's going to roll into the other cars and the other cars going to have a problem and you're going to have that whole situation going. So just, just, that's just a tip just to, just so you don't mess up a starter business because I'm, this is my own personal business. So. I like to not fuck up a lot. That's what I like not to do. So, so all we're going to do is put the straps on, put the light bar on, and we're going to roll off, and this one will be done.